We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going back in time. We're going to be heading back to 2015, and we're going to be doing a first look at Pixel Heroes Bite and Magic. It is by the Bitfather and Head Up Publishing, releasing on February 6th, 2015. I picked it up, I assume, a while after that, and I played around with it a little bit, and I, I really enjoyed it, but I hadn't played it in a while, and I was kind of going through it, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I covered this on a channel. I looked, I never did. So, here we are. Let's, uh, let's go. I haven't played it in a long time. Let's go on an adventure in the realms of Bite and Magic. Uh, Graveyard? Yep, there's there's peeps. There, there's Dylan and Bud and Punchy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, so we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I probably could continue where I, where I left off. Don't have any idea what that means. That's fine. You really want to delete your save game and start a new game? Your heroes will be lost and ashamed. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Alright. Finish campaign one first. Finish campaign two first. Yeah, the Fools of Radiance. Yeah, that sounds like us. Alright, campaign one hard. Brutal and insane. So I guess we don't even get an easy. Welcome to the tavern. Some brave heroes have found their way to these far reaches, seeking treasures and glory. Hire three heroes for your epic adventure. Now, I know in general I tend to stick to newly released things more often. I then, of course, have been going through my backlog a little bit. This is neither really a bet. This is just something I wanted to play. So um, that's why I picked it up when I did. And uh, you know what? Like I said, I enjoyed it when I played it. So I figured let's play it again. And uh, let's let's make a video about it. So so sorry if you guys look for the freshest, newest thing on this day. It's, it's This is going to be a little bit of an older one. That's okay. All right, let's see. We got Choppy the Dwarf Fighter. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll leave him uh, as he is. Uh, higher. Okay. And then we can have a secondary individual. What are you? You're a war mage. You're a huntsman. Sure, sure, sure. You're a bard, of course. You're an enchantress. And you are an adventurer. You have lesser healing. <laughs> the, the orb of noob. Okay, I think we're gonna go... We're gonna go war mage. And we're gonna go adventurer. Alright. And then we can pause. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Alright, let's go. I'm going on a hunt. I right, bye. I am too good for you. For golden glory, yay, this is my first job. Body and mind. Well, I wanted you in the order that I hired you in. Oh, the end sign is coming. It's Harry Burt. Listen, the end is nigh. Hear my words and prepare. An ancient cult has set foot into our lands. They call themselves the Sons of Dawn and pray to some dark elder being. They have started recruiting people for their cause all over the country. I fear that they want to try to awaken something which should be left sleeping. Something dangerous and sinister. Something that might destroy us all. Spend your last days wisely. We will meet again once the time has come for your final quest. Okay. Uh, what, what's going on? It's, it's hor Horning? Hey, you, yeah, you, man, you cool, right? Are you... Looking shiftily to the side. Are you looking for something to smoke, perhaps? No, not the usual stuff. Something special, you know? Why, no. No, it's not forbidden. Well, it's not really forbidden. More like, let's say it's generally discouraged. So, you want something, man? A little, maybe, please? Sorry for being so persistent, but life's uh, tough for us fire mages. Used to be different, you know? But since those damn dwarves, no offense, of course, invented their miniature tinderboxes, we aren't as revered as we used to be. Who's this guy? Cooper. Uh, Cooper, Captain Underpants, the old volcano. 
Wait, isn't that a a, a kid thing? Like a, a show or a movie or something? I don't know. Are you a group of wandering heroes by any chance? Yes? Why? Then we are colleagues. I am a hero myself. Well, I mean, not yet, but, but soon. You see, I am missing a crucial part of my hero suit. TM. Uh, someone stole my, um, well, my, my, my underpants. I mean, not my real underpants, of course. No, no, no. The ones I wear over my leggings. If you, um, well, could get them back for me, I could finally start my superhero training with my complete hero suit TM. And I can save the world or, well, I mean, something like that. Yeah, sure, why not? The Old Volcano Dungeon. Great, thank you. Show those beasts some hero power. I would, uh, of course, come with you, but I have to stay here and protect the village. Someone's got to do it, right? That's fair. Go forth now, my heroes. Retrieve my heroic underpants, which, again, aren't, aren't my real underpants. I, I just really want to stress that so that I can help you in being more heroic. Okay. A town above ground? Mumble, mumble, mumble. We're just going to leave this place, I think. Wait, we should prepare. Maybe maybe we should go to the... What do you, you got to say, Shroom? Hello there, I'm Shroom, cook extraordinaire. I hope the, you enjoy the taste of fresh mushrooms as much as I do. Only the bestest and freshest mushrooms are worthy of being cooked by me. You probably wonder why I'm wearing a mushroom as a hat. Well, I am a cook and I love mushrooms. Isn't it obvious? If I were into meat, I would probably wear a grilled steak for a hat. And if I were into vegetables, I would definitely choose a tomato. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, we, we do have some money. If I click on this, this doesn't sell, all right? Okay, okay. A bell that keeps your pants where they belong. Uh, magic jewelry. And another belt. Alright, so we don't need belts, per se. Ooh, a weapon. What, what are the... What are the... What, what is this? Just physical? Is it, what, what, what's with the weird... Plant snake thing? And I, I don't... I don't know. Oh, he's already got some stuff. All right, 34 physical. This is 38. It inflicts something down. So this is definitely the, the better choice. Oh, that's garbage. All right, and then this is magical. And significantly better than this. It inflicts bleed, but deals almost no damage. No. But it inflicts bleed 40% of the time. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess I could... I mean, it's pretty expensive. Alright, hold on. Let's see what the others have. A mediocre sword of boredom. And a mediocre crossbow of boredom. And a mediocre ring of mediocrity. <laughs> and a mediocre dress of mediocrity. All right, well, maybe our adventurer's not having the best of times. Also, I feel like the order in which they are is a bit rough. Okay, and then what about you? A mediocre sword of boredom. There's a shiny spear of hate. Be used for close combat and ranged attacks. Okay. The mighty sword of shock. And the sundering arbalus of maiming. I feel like that's spelled wrong, but that's okay. Alright, we're, we're doing this. Has less range than the bow, but deals a good amount of damage. We're buying this. I guess I'm gonna buy this as well. Range one to two. Well, hopefully you could use this, because that's what we're getting. 
A shiny dress of tedium. Huh? Huh? That's better. Alright. We're gonna back out. I'm gonna go down here. And we're gonna outfit our, our boy. Yeah. Get you set up. Let you you deal with the spear. I guess you can have one in each hand. Seems fine. Uh, how does how does the belt work? Oh, instead of up here. Oh, I see. What what does the ring do? Oh yeah. Uh, may or may not possess magic powers. Did, wait, didn't it show, like, actual information before? Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's fine. Wait, well, who, who's using the belt now? Oh, here we go, here we go. Life and faith. Defense immunity. Okay. Well, I'll put that on my face for some reason. Yeah, probably fine. This is uh, some interesting stuff. Okay, so we did all that. We can drink those when we're ready. Alright, back to the town. The old library. My, my beard itches. Hold, wait, hold on. What are these guys? Exclamation sellout? No, we're, we're good. We should prepare. Let's go. Are you sure you want to leave the towns? Your destination is... Yeah, let's go. Hmm. There's an anthill in the middle of the road. Pour boiling water into it. Ignore it. Boiling water. You, you heroes start boiling, uh, pouring boiling water into the anthill. Your atrocity against nature has been spotted by some uh, vigilante bees. Select an item or a skill to be used. Ow. Stars effects are causing damage. Go to here. This hero has to rest for one turn. All right. Okay, that's fine. The hemostatic pouch of grounding, the dingy bonnet of compression, and some healing potions. Plus, we got fifty gold and forty-five experience. I'll take it. Uh, somebody didn't have a hat. Two somebody's didn't have a hat. Alright, well, you're closer to the front line. Let's give you this. What is this thing? This gives you bleeding and, and lightning immunity. I mean, I, I guess. These rings kind of suck. I mean, this one's okay, I guess. These two are terrible. The mediocre, the mediocre ring of mediocrity. A beehive has fallen down from a tree and is now laying on the side of the road. Reach into it, kick it, ignore it. Let's kick it. One of your heroes kicks the hive far into the woods. Uh oh, there's a buzzing sound closing in on you. More bees. It's the bees for honor and glory. All right, what, what is this? Magic missile. <laughs> magic damage, magical damage and dullness. And then this is a weapon that does magical damage. And, and do we know anything about the bees? Probably not. Bash, become hard as a rock. Oh, we get some healing. Are we, maybe. This is healing zero, though. Hmm. Weird. 
I'm gonna try a magic missile. I mean, it worked. Maybe that was... Oh, it's a 16 turn cooldown. Maybe that was a miss... Ow, blood! Take that, you ugly monster! A swarm of bees moved up, and they stung me. No match for me. Chopping bees up with my axe of destiny. A useless bonnet of tedium. Yeah. Some more healing potions. Some more gold and experience. We do we do have the healing potions. So if and when we need it, we can use it. I believe you have no hat. You now have a hat. You are infinitely better than you once were. I still want to be able to smack some of these things. Alright. Rotting corpse hanging from a tree. It looks like it has been up there for quite a while. Prepare a proper burial. Yeah, let's do that. You prepare a proper burial for the nameless corpse and feel somehow relieved. Well, that's good. Oh, we got some experience for that. Cool. Do you want to take a rest and review your inventory? Continue traveling. Yeah, let's continue. I don't think we actually heal from the stuff. I think I'll drink a potion. And uh, we're gonna go. Looks like we have a total of eight rooms to go through. All right, let's begin. To victory! I feel like this is gonna murder us. I don't know for sure, but it certainly doesn't feel great. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm buffing up. Strike the earth. You reek of troll booty. Oh god. Ow. Okay, he's bleeding at least. They don't like Jim. They're they're big anti Jim fans here. Alright, we speared down that guy. The little lizard here is probably going to go and take us on. Yeah. Alright, the magma snake's coming up. We're going to throw a heal on Jim. Yeah, we're getting molly -whopped. All right, he is dull, but we survived it. The rotten cur cuirass of indifference, the dashing hat of resistance, and another healing potion. We'll take it. I am gonna once again drink a healing potion. We can change battle positions. Oh, I can draw. Oh, that's cool. Um. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think it really matters much, but that's fine. Okay, let's go take a peek. It's gonna be better than your useless bonnet of tedium. Plus two, plus three. Mm. No, I don't think I don't think we switch it. I think we're okay. Let's continue. Enter the next realm. My heart thirsts for battle. I think we go for this guy, straight up. Eat my steel, baby. All right, down he goes. We're gonna go out to the front of magma, liquid hot magma worm. Apparently we're just gonna get like kind of pummeled a little bit. I'm okay with that. The, the the snack is near death. Oh, they're just focused on him, huh? I don't like these guys at all. They're burning us up. Mm. 
Let's cut him down so we have nothing else to deal with. Hopefully we get some good potions out of this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The heroes have reached the next level. You can add points to attributes. Ooh. Alright, we'll do... Uh, I'm gonna do this one. And then you can drink this one. And you can just stay. Alright. Ah, so here we go. We have life, we have int, we have strength, dex, and faith. I'm gonna put one into strength and then one into life you get a bit more out of int I get int in life for you and you're kind of meh across the board let's give you strength and faith and we did pick up something we, we picked up the supreme chant of Vita I think we will um, we'll replace our sword with. There's a new axe in town. 47 physical versus 36. It's the mighty Kawari of beauty. Well, we already know how beautiful I am. Alright, we also picked up the dingy cap of coolness. Definitely cool for us. Yeah, that, that tracks. Our backpack is starting to get full, though. Okay, I'm here for it. Enter the third room. Ooh, there's a shrine. Or something. You discover a blasphemous altar. Oh, okay. Someone should perform an exorcism. Looks like this requires not much faith. I mean, Jim's gotta be the one. One percent. We turned it into a chest, apparently. And we got a crumpled book of Vita, which I think the one that we have is probably better. A rusty bonnet of lameness and a polished prayer of favor. Dingy hauberk of adequacy. We got uh, quite a few things. Wow. That's probably really good. So many books of favor. A steadying fetish of the mage. Holy crap. We don't have room for all of that. Yeah, so we only have 21, uh, can we, we can throw stuff out, right? Alright. A lot of books here, so let's, let's go take a look at what we have. We have the Supreme Chant of Vita. Alright, that's pretty darn good. I thought maybe the other one was going to be a little bit better, but absolutely not. Subpar Petition of Redemption. Let's get rid of that one. 9 int plus immunity. Yeah, we're definitely going to swap those over. Um, I think I get rid of this. I ordered this. I I don't I'm not opposed to maybe removing this and having a backup healing thing. It looks like 19 might be the best that we've got. And I believe our breastplate is 3 as well. This is the dingy hauberk of adequacy. The other one's the mediocre armor of mediocrity. They're basically the same, except this one probably smells a bit better. Because, you know, dingy and not dingy. Alright, I think that's fine. We're going to roll with that. It gives us a little bit more to play with, with healing. But, at the same time, every turn that we're healing, we're not doing other things. We're, we're going to take more damage. So, you sense treasure behind a fake shelf. A hero may be able to solve the puzzle. It requires truly great intelligence. All right, Proteus. Let's see what you got, man. Oh, well, that was a terrible choice. Try it again. Theoretically, we should get it this time. We absolutely didn't. 
All right, Choppy. Um, okay. Well, I die. Why? I was like, I sit here going, I wonder if, like, they'll let me choose to lose free, but was heavily damaged. Well, that was a, a bad call on my part. Oh, look, the, the thing that the guy who died could have used very well. Can we bring you back? Oh, well. Oh, God, that would have been so good. Oh, my God. Well, you might as well. Oh, I can't even do that. Help! No, it's fine. All right, maybe we'll find an altar that lets us uh, revive our dead compatriot. This seems bad. Um. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's tank ourselves up a bit. It's not gonna go well. Gonna heal myself a bit here. Ah, it's just a scratch. Yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot of scratches. What does this do? But now we actually have an item that does even more. All right, let's kill the imp. Oh, they didn't even kill him. Ooh. 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 All right. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, that didn't do anything. Hey, what? Wait, what? Why are we? Okay. Off with your head, probably. Heat wave. This seems oh interesting. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Okay, I think we burned for about as much as we healed, if not more. Yeah, this is this is going very badly. Jim live. Uh -huh. All right, the fire elemental is gonna go away. Now we're just down to this lovely lad here. Healing is fun, is it though? I mean, I feel like killing would be more enjoyable, probably. All right, we're going for it. The imp artillery survived. It is enough to put him down here. Ugh. Unreadable Scroll of Thunderbolt. Useful. Vengeful Ring of Snakeskin. Laughable Seraphin of Intolerance. And some more healing potions. Definitely needed the healing potions. Alright. Well, the Dwarf Fighter is going to do the 80. You're going to do a 40. And a 40. Okay. Let's uh, see what we ended up with here. That's pretty terrible. That's also pretty terrible. It's cool to see like the different amount of magic like each person's going to do with the book. I, I like that a lot. Ooh, minus five life, but five strength and five dexterity and immunity to poison. It's actually not terrible. Yeah, I don't think we're going to use any of these. Alright, we continue onward. Prepare for battle. Oh, I'm prepared. I don't think it's going to go very well, though. Um, No match for me. All right, we attack the iron elemental. That did not go well, but he also didn't hit very hard. All right. 
He's immune to bleeding. Okay, yeah, that's that's about right. Dwarf smash, maybe? He's near death. Oh, we got lit on fire again. Is that enough to kill him? Nope. He dropped a rock on me. He is pretty underwhelming overall. The iron the iron elemental I actually liked there. That was uh, the least problematic uh, enemy that we had faced. Alright, I'm gonna go with uh, a big heal, a bigger heal on you. Actually, I don't know. Are my items... Is, is this a bigger heal? It's, a, it's almost exactly the same. Take you down. Now we're gonna get hit by the old artillery. Well, at least he hit the back line. Which again, not not necessarily great, but it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Finally I can help. Can you though? Alright, well, whatever. Let's see what we ended up getting here. Ooh. It's not that good. They look cool, though. Dex and Faith. Uh. Alright, I think we throw that away. I think we probably throw this away. And now we're actually okay. Then we go back up here and we drink the potion. And we drink the other potion. We're, we're, we're getting down to the, the last couple rooms and down to the death of all. Alright. Fortunately, I can't go beyond. I'll try hitting him with this. I made him soft. I don't know how I feel about that, but... I did it. Alright, a little bit of a bleed on him, and then, of course, he's gonna hit us with that, and he's just extremely combustible, apparently. That is a thing that he 100% is. Ooh, that was a big hit. Sweet. Alright. Oh, dropping stuff on us in the back line now. Off your head, it should probably... Oh, he, he lost his debuff. So that probably should have killed him, but it did not. Alright, we'll throw a heal on ourselves when we get the opportunity. Let's take you down. We're gonna get hit with the uh, artillery for the double. Nope, single. Really focused on us in the back line. Which is actually not bad, considering he's not as combustible as our dwarf, who just proved my point. This guy should die. And then we have uh, the imp sorcerer back there being an imp sorcerer. Gaston is uh, as old a fireball. You gonna double fireball us? Yep. Alright, let's put you down. I almost killed him in one shot. Really, really hammering him home. Alright, Imp is dead. I don't know, maybe having two healers is a good thing? I don't know. Light Prayer of Mercy, Superior Hatchet of Piety, Purifying Bag of the Hunter. I mean, we're getting some stuff. Ooh, good healing potion. Not bad. The heroes have reached another level. Yay. I am so excited for how bad things are going for us. 
Okay, well, let's go see what we ended up with here. 49. Oh, but this is 50. Huh. I'm probably going to switch anyway. It looks like we got more stuff going on, so... Hmm. Who can say? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not very good. It's not really for us. That's enough to get through. The final room in the old volcano. You have awakened me. Dance to the fire. No one has ever escaped the volcano. Now burn. Oh. Oh, goody. It's a crystallisk guardian. The emperor. Okay. Well, let's get this on cooldown. Taste this weapon. Plus one. Oh, he just shot right back. All right, just firing out a little bit. Let's go. Aha! It's effective. Oh, but we got hit with a hot geyser. I think we should start throwing heals immediately. We're gonna leave it all up to our front liner. Oh, you got, you got blasted upside the noggin. All right, that should kill it, right? Yeah. All right, onward. I have to hope that uh, we can keep him alive. They are really, really trying to take our, our dwarfy dwarf down. Ooh, that's also effective. I like that a lot. Come on. This is 32 healing. This is also 32 healing. Is that ne yeah, a little necessary. All right, hopefully Jim can just survive. We're gonna need probably three or four hits to take this guy out. Jim might have to heal himself. Upcoming soon, we'll see. All right, this might finish the big guy. Oh, it didn't. Oh no. I thought for sure it would have. Jim's going all in on Choppy getting the job done. Alright, Choppy. Get him. Oh, he's still alive. Oh. Jim, no! Oh, we did it. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, this isn't working. Uh, are we gonna die? No, okay. The perfect duo. Enter a boss fight with two alive heroes and be victorious. Well. Ooh, Scream of Phoenix. What? The what? Dilettantish crossbow. The damage should have immunity. The ludicrous lyrics of devotion. I bet that's pretty good. And some healing potions. Alright, let's go take a look at the ludicrous thing of... Oh, that's terrible. Well, hold on. Yeah, it's still not very good. It does inflict ring pop damage or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, this is incredible. But still weaker because of reasons. This would have gone well with our other guy. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know what to get rid of. I guess that's that's it. All right, we're going to go. Oh, and then we have to traverse all the way back to the volcano. Oh, I forgot to heal. Uh observe it? 
Your heroes start to observe the actions of the scorpion. A short while passes. Uh oh, it spotted us. Oh no. Choppy, live. Jim, Jim, and, and you made a terrible mistake though. Off with your head, that should kill him outright, right? Yeah. Alright, the bees are gonna be angry, but it's okay. I think I think we can survive it. Hopefully we get a bit stronger as we go. Well, we're we're basically done with our first look video, guys and gals, but eh, we'll finish it out. Maybe getting back to town. And uh yeah, like I said, very fun game. I, I really like the idea and concept behind this. Um, and it's something I hadn't played in a long time. I was like, yeah, I kind of want to play that again. Yeah, that was a fun game. Let's, uh, let's do a first look at that. And here we are. You know, this brand new game that's, you know, nine years old. <clears throat> Fortified Hat of Compression. All right. Let you drink your way back to health. There we go. You fools, you cannot carry more than the old garb of indifference. The fortified hat of lamitude. The rotten caress of stank. Yep, yeah, got it. Alright, onward. I I don't know that we did whatever we were supposed to do the oh god, what is that? You see the ugly polyp floating in the midair. They said that these beings roam, sorry, roam the countryside for unknown reasons. They don't seem interested in communicating with other species. Uh, all right, let's just try to kill it. The arrows draw their weapons. It does look disturbing. Oh, it's got little bug friends. Boo. Oh, it didn't seem to like or have a problem getting hit with magic. Alright, we get rid of the bug. So he's gonna float on closer. Let's see what he does. Oh. Oh. Break free. Apparently he was strangulating me or something. Oh. Alright, here, hold this. Oh, he's fine, apparently. Can I, I can't, like, heal Proteus? No. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and soften him up a little bit. Definitely have to lay into him with some some uh, damage. I'm getting pinched by the little boy in the back there. Ha! <laughs> Man, you're almost dead, but not quite. Really, really just annoying this guy. All right, let's uh let's heal up the dwarf. If he doesn't die. We can uh we can spend quite a bit of time here healing up, which is kinda nice. Oh, that's unfortunate. Come on, break out. There we go. Just don't put him back in the Oh, he has to rest for one turn, really? So we're just gonna keep doing this over and over again until we eventually die? Aha! He's free! Hey, he didn't get stuck in the... Oh god, what? He's confused. He almost killed himself. What in the world? Don't do that! That was horrible. Please die this time. Okay. And now with the creepy crawl. Oh, defeat the inscrutable flying polyp. Hey, I did it. Oh, that was an achievement. Okay. I'm like, oh, it ended the battle. 
No, don't do that. What does this do? Almost no damage. But I can just do this. I think it's fine. I'm, I'm going to actually heal up on the back. We'll use a potion to heal him. I that kills him. No, it didn't. Nice. Heal yourself, Jim. It's your only chance. Oh, that does do damage. Alright. He's super healthy. We're never going to survive. Alright, Jim's feeling good. He's, he's full health now. Choppy's like, Jim, uh, could, could use some assistance here if you, you know, if you're not too busy. And and then and Jim's like, dude, you're you're getting beat up by a bug. What do you, what do you mean you need my assistance? It's like, look, dude, it's, it's not my fault. This is a strong bug. But yes, it is nice that we can utilize some of this to just bring us out of near death situation. And actually not have to rely on so many potions. Oh, we finally wounded the little critter. Little creepy crawler. Well, she wasn't constantly poisoned. Things would be a lot better if he was only taking one point of damage. He's immune to being infested, which I guess is great. But let's just put him down. All right, what did we end up getting? We got a whip, a tentacle whip. Huh, neat. It's not as uh, good as one would expect. And these things are kind of awful. Ooh, four int, four faith, four dex. Eh, no, I don't think I can keep that. Um. Back up to the top. There we go. Go up to you and have you drink. Good job, sir. And then we continue. Bye, polyp guy. He should have disappeared. I defeated him. Hello. See a young adventurer standing at the side of the road. Good day to you. You seem like a capable group of heroes. Would you mind helping me out? I have to hunt down a troll for my quest. And the rest of my group has been knocked unconscious. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, sure, why not? Great! I knew you had it in you. Be careful. You can regenerate. Oh, boy. This might have been a mistake. Oh, look at him. He's so adorable. He's not adorable. Alright. Taste my steel. I'm a firing my laser. He was trolling me. Literally. All right, now that our, our boy's up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit him with the, the bash, soften him, get a little bit of damage on him, and then we're just going to lay into him. Hopefully doing some decent damage as uh, we get chopped up and chewed on. Ooh, well, okay. I was expecting that to be more difficult. Color me surprised. Yep. You can let him get pinched. Oh, he got poisoned. Lebu. Alright, I think I go through one more cycle and then we kill him. So we hit him now, then we heal, and then we kill him with the axe. Uh huh. That'll be the most uh, health he can have. He'll lose like, well, second, not not quite as much as I thought, to be honest. I thought he would uh, do a little bit better than he did. 
That's okay, though. I accept this. Alright, the useless garb of tedium. Lovely. And some healing potions. We don't need it at this point, because we're amazing. Hey, we reached another level up. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna go with life and faith. Maybe I should just double down on faith. I don't know. Alright, well, we made it back to town, it looks like. Uh, I guess we'll turn in the quest, and that'll be our adventure for this day. Yes, finally! My hero suit TM is complete! Now I can start my hero training. All I need is a heroic name. As a reward, you may suggest names for me. Any ideas? No? Hmm, maybe this will give some inspiration. I found it in a bush nearby. Fortified Gown of the Worm? Oh, alright. Uh, looks like there's angels and stuff. We probably can go somewhere, maybe the tavern or something, and either fire our mage or get somebody else entirely. There's a casino slash a bank, all sorts of stuff walking around town. Anyway, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Like I said, it's pretty fun. You get to go on, like, little mini adventures. You get to kind of choose, like, which dungeon you want to go on based on whatever quest you have available. And you get to manage your party and do all the cool stuff that we did with our party. Like I said, pretty big fan of this game. I thought it was quite cool. I played it, I think, for, like, two or three hours back in the day. And I was like, yeah, this is definitely something that we Captain Caps Lock. Sorry, that is, this is definitely something we should probably cover on the channel at some point. And I just never got around to it, but now I finally can say that I did. Anyway, guys and gals, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, like and subscribe. That'd be fantastic. And if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, or any of that stuff down below in the description of the video. I'll have the links like I always do. Till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.